What's up guys, welcome back to another video on Pure Panorama. This video is gonna be more or less a work day vlog type of thing. Uh, so what, basically what I did was film some stuff that we were doing at work uh, and I have footage of us um, setting up forms for concrete. One of our customers is having a concrete sidewalk and adding onto their driveway and having the other half of their driveway uh, poured in a concrete slab which is gonna stretch from the road all down the side of their garage and we had to go over and get the forms all set up so this was actually filmed in two different days uh, Gary and I were over there uh, this past Saturday and we were going to do all of it but come to find out when we got there the guy who excavated it did not dig it down deep enough we needed it dug down deep enough to the point where we could in the driveway have a six inch concrete slab poured so that the weight of a vehicle or a truck, trailer, whatever, didn't crack that concrete after it was poured and people started parking on it. So when we got there and started to get into it and try to try to get the forms built, we noticed that we, at our shallowest spot, only had about three inches of depth and that just obviously wasn't going to cut it that's only half of the six inches that we needed so we had to have the guy come back and dig it down deeper which he did this morning so we finally started to get the forms done for the driveway but saturday we were able to get the forms done for the sidewalk and that actually got poured on monday morning we're going to be back there tomorrow morning so i will actually capture uh, what the sidewalk looks like it came out really 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 nice and you'll see in the part of the video when i when we're doing the forms for the sidewalk that we we do it just like any any concrete form is done where we stake it out and we use two by material whether it be two by four two by six in our case it was two by four for the sidewalk and we're using two by six for the driveway pad but we also used a piece of pvc board for the sidewalk because the sidewalk has kind of a curve in it so that it can flare out and it has a wider mouth where it meets the driveway and then it obviously will curve in and narrow out as it connects to the stairs on the deck so when you see the clips of us setting up the forms and then the after the after clip of it after we had the form in and you see the two by fours and then you see one white board that's curved that is a piece of pvc board now before the concrete gets poured what we do is go and wipe and soak down all the two by fours with diesel fuel so the concrete won't stick to it and we can lift those forms out of there after the concrete is cured and uh, there isn't any trouble so the two by fours will separate from the edges of the concrete now obviously with the pvc curve on the sidewalk we you don't really have to soak that down because it is pvc so you're not really going to have any issue with that um, bonding or sticking to the concrete and uh, we we basically just soak down and wipe down the two by fours but you can't make the whole form out of pvc because it is quite flimsy and stuff so the PVC really just comes in handy and, and makes a nice curve. So you, you want to build your forms out of 2x4 and then if you want to make any types of curves or S curves or anything like that, PVC is the way to go. So we didn't quite finish it all up tonight. We do have to go back in the morning and just finish it up. Uh, we'll have a couple hours to wrap things up over there and get it done before the concrete truck shows up and the guy uh, will start to lay the concrete in there and start to float it all out and get it all set. We also are tying in the two gutters that come down off the side of the garage and tying that all in with drain tile, uh, running that out to the back corner of the new driveway that's being poured and that the driveway will literally just be poured right over it so the water will come down out of the gutters, hit the drain tile under the driveway and then run out to the back of the driveway and come out it'll just get spit out in the backyard somewhere off the back corner of the new driveway that's the type of stuff that i uh i miss doing we've been doing so many kitchens and bathrooms and stuff lately being cooped up inside people's houses uh it's it's just nice and refreshing to be able to get outdoors and do do some outdoor stuff we do have a big siding job that's coming up
up here um, probably maybe like within the next month and a half maybe two months we might get into it after summer is kind of wrapping up and we're we're getting into the fall season um, so we're gonna have that coming up and I am so stoked for that I mean I'm looking forward to having some outdoor time even though it's not gonna be in the summertime or whatever it, it's gonna be that perfect weather because it's gonna start to cool off a little bit we'll have those perfect temps here in New York and stuff so I, I just I don't know I can't wait to get on that siding job and that will be that'll be a good job for me to have the cameras and stuff set up so that we can get some good workday footage and just kind of go over go over some siding how to side a house we are gonna have some tile work and things like that coming up too we have a bathroom right now that is fully gutted right down to the studs and floor joists so we are actually um, getting the electrical stuff wrapped up right now so we're gonna be starting to put that thing back together here soon uh, and I think that I will be able to probably bring some good content and some more informational teaching type of content to the channel as we start to put this bathroom back together so if anybody wants to see some stuff like that um, how we build our showers uh, how we tile let me know in the comment section I think it would make good content though uh, if I if I record some stuff as we get this bathroom put back together because um, I, I don't know maybe it's just me and I might be a little biased and this isn't to toot my own horn but our finished bathrooms are they're stellar. Other than that though, that's all I got for you. A little workday vlog stuff. We're going to show you what we were doing and getting done at work here and uh, that's that's going to be it for you guys. Lastly, before we wrap this video up, I want to say thank you so much guys for the 600 subscribers, man. We are still on that climb, getting there closer and closer to the 1,000 subscriber mark and I am already starting to plan what is going to go on with the channel for when we hit that 1,000 mark. Uh, giveaway something is going down for you guys being as awesome as you are so you guys can look forward to something coming when we get these last 391 I think it is now uh, subscribers and we hit that 1000 mark there's gonna be something coming for you guys so look forward to that and also if you don't follow me on Instagram you should go over there and follow me especially if you have any questions that you want to ask me I am gonna do a Q&A video either tonight or tomorrow night so that'll either be Friday's video or Saturday morning's video will be a Q&A video uh, and what I'm gonna do basically is post up a picture on Instagram and just say Q&A video and have you guys ask whatever questions you want there and then I will go through them and answer them in the video for you guys so you guys can either learn more about me uh, ask some questions about the truck whatever you want to ask really um, I, I really I won't take offense to anything and we'll uh, uh, we'll pick and choose the best questions to get those answers out there for you guys. So I think what I'll do is actually go ahead and uh, I won't do it tonight. I will do it Friday night. So Saturday morning's video, I will, uh, it'll be a Q&A thing. That'll give some people some time to go over there and follow me if they want to. And if they want to be asking me any questions or stuff, um, that'll, that'll give them a little bit of time to do that and make sure that they can get their questions in for the Q&A video. Enough talking out of me though, that's going to do it for this video. I'm going to show you guys the footage of Gary and I getting the forms done for the concrete, the sidewalk, and the driveway at the customer's house. And uh, we're going to close it off with that. So as always guys, hit that like button on your way out. You guys have been killing it. Thank you again for the 600 subscribers. Your likes really do help us get these new family members. So keep hitting that like button, share the videos with your buddies. And if you're new here, stopping in for the first time, checking out the channel, hit that subscribe button, join the family. We are primarily a truck channel slowly starting to introduce new styles of content into the channel so uh, you'll mainly see truck stuff fixing it uh, mods things like that and every now and again a little bit of construction and vlog stuff to see a day in the life of me outside of the truck things because I have more to my life than just the truck and I, I feel like that would be fun to share with you guys so hit that subscribe button hit that like button I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video peace